Hey everyone, Linz Manoz here and welcome to another first look game. Uh, this is a game by the name, as you might be seeing on the screen there, um, Planet Nomads is what it's called. Um, down in the bottom left corner, this is version 0.7.7.0. It is an early access game. Um, I did receive a copy for free from the developer Crane Balls. Um, it was released back in May, but uh, pretty much uh, it's a, an action adventure indie simulation, they call it. Um, it is early access, as I said, um, and it's described as a sci fi, sci -fi sandbox game of survival on alien planets through block style building. Um, it's very. It is very reminiscent of Space Engineers. So if you've played Space Engineers, it's 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 a similar sort of idea from from just the bit that I've played. Um, I haven't worked out how to use any sort of weaponry or anything, but you can see from the from the from the screenshot here, um, you can build vehicles and all sorts of bits and pieces. So I I did have a game that I was getting into and uh, just to sort of get a, a grip on the game, uh, but I'm going to start a new one. We're going to do it in survival mode. Um, I don't know. We will call it Test World One. Um, just for giggles. So, yep, it is loading. I was going to say it's it's getting there. Uh, it it it's a pretty cool game, just from the start. So you can see just the graphic in the in the picture there while it's loading. Um, the trees and there's rocks and stuff and you've got to mine them all up uh, and at first I thought I was only mining just the surface rocks and I, I found that you can actually dig down underground and pick up some more minerals down under the, underneath the ground but there's there's animals there's little bugs there's all sorts of weird and wonderful creatures um, ready to tear your face off um, but so far I, I did I did play it for probably a bit over an hour, maybe an hour and a half, um, on, on my first game, and thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm not sure how much content yet is in it, but as as I said, it's early access, and um, it's being updated fairly regularly. Okay, so basically. What it's telling you is that we've uh, we've found a, a world. Research suggests existence of nearby exoplanets, possibly possibly capable of sustaining organic life. Powerful technological. I can't even say that real quick. Consortium is there. We're basically getting sent out there. So they're sending us out in a little pod to have a look at this world. Um, I'm not sure on world gen, um, as I said, I've only played it once. So I push E to get out of the escape pod. Okay. So the world world gen is different. Um, so there's a little bit of a basic tutorial when you first start. Let's have a bit of a look. We've landed on the edge of some water. Um, you've got a hover pack, which you can a jet pack I should say, which you can hold down space bar to, to float a little bit. Uh, it wants me to patch myself up by pushing number one. You can see down the bottom right hand corner we've got some sort of green looking bandage thing. So I've just pushed number one. Um, bottom left showing me whether you're hungry and thirsty. Uh, so you've got I think that's energy and then hunger thirst. So you push I for your inventory and we can drag these things down and put them on our hot bar. These things here are batteries for our little multi-tool. And let's see. So it want, it's going to want me to eat. So it wants me to drink some water. You are well rested. Good hydration secured. And eat. You are in a well-fed state. 
All right. So we've got our little tool here. Just checking out the environment. Um, Graphic-wise, it's actually quite, quite neat and tidy. I, I do like the uh, the style that we've got. Now it wants me to push tab to go to build mode. Um, so what we're going to need to do is you can sleep in your in your pod wherever my pod has ended up. It's up here. So you can sleep in this pod. So I don't want to build too far away from it. But I kind of want a little bit of flat ground. Uh, maybe just here for the moment. Um, so you push the tab button and you get this build mode. And then you push B and it opens up a all the building blocks that you can do. And there's a, there's a fair few. Uh, to start with, you need to build an emergency 3D printer. So we're just going to put that in number one. I'm going to push one. And I'm going to left click here. And then push tab to go back to normal mode. And while looking at this, I'm going to left click and create it. So that was just like a like a, a beam that, um, I don't know, like a, a welding beam type thing. So uh, we need resources. They can be found around the world inside rocks with metallic veins. So we've got this rock over here. And it looks like it's got some sort of uh, minerals hanging out of it. Uh, it's telling us to push R to reload one of those battery packs into my uh, gun thing. And you can see now at the top of the little gun icon in the bottom right, uh, we've now got 100 there, and that's our energy level. So if I come over here and left click, you can see the little um, progress bar. It's a little, uh, and it, it goes around the ring as, as you're actually doing this. So you watch, you can see the little progress bar. It's a little bit quick okay so we've mined up that rock and we've got a little bit of a little bit of carbon we've got 12 carbon and we've got 22 iron now I think that's pretty much all that we can gather water but it's dirty water you can see in the top right it says we picked up some dirty water uh, we are going to need some more minerals there's a few more rocks around that looks like some sort of pod of some description um, one thing you can do and these trees are huge we can chop trees down okay, so we can go and you can see the progress but a little bit difficult to see on that graphic uh oh and it's gonna fall there it goes pretty nifty graphic system we go. Um, we get rid of the trunk. And as we get it, top right you can see we've picked up 14 biomass containers. Get 13 more. We're going to turn that into logs. Alright. And we're getting, getting resources. And this stuff will come in handy as a fuel source in a bit. There you go. So that's one tree nuked, so to speak. Um, that plant there with the little swirly things around it, I believe, actually has food in it. Oh, look. Is that a creature? Some, some nifty stuff around. I don't know what this thing's going to do. Just a normal thing. Now let's see if I can. Nope, nope. Some sort of waspy things. They weren't real happy with me. Okay, so maybe that's not what I thought it was. Alright, so we'll head back over to our little starting area, and I'm a bit worried about whatever that is. Because um, I found that most of the creatures so far that I've encountered are not friendly. Um, your your multi tool does have two modes. Uh, it seems like there's a, a left click sort of um, use, so you can mine and and that sort of stuff. 
There's a right-click mode which just seems to destroy. Um, you don't tend to get any minerals from it, if you know what I mean. It just kind of does a big blast. Um, I, I could be wrong. It's just how I've how I've found that it, it works. So let's grab a little bit more of this material over here. That's a bit more carbon. A bit more iron. Uh, what's this rock? I think it's just a rock. So I got a little bit of iron, a little bit of carbon. Nothing too outrageous. Let's have a bit of a look around. Yeah, there's some more, some more resources around. But as I said, you can mine underground, so we will probably get into some sort of mine shaft type arrangement. But before we get too much further, and my game decides to just like go away from uh, having now there's another window popping up in front of me. Gotta love that. Um, I love it when things decide that they want to be in front of what you're doing. Anyway, let's look here. So I need to make a base. There's a few machines that we need. And if you looked in this build mode, we now have the ability to make base foundations. But as you can see in the little tooltip there, uh, base foundations require two of those frame looking things and two of the plate looking things. <laughs> they're, they're the scientific uh, things for it. What have we got here? So basic frame, it takes two iron and one and one uh, carbon. So we can actually pick up our iron and carbon and drop it in here. And we want, let's, what do we want? 10 maybe? It's going to take a lot of our resources. Yeah. And then I probably want... Ten of these too. Okay, that's going to take a minute. I don't know if the sun's going down, but we can we can terraform a little. Um, but I'm probably going to build the base probably here. Um, but yeah, I found that you can kind of dig in and 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 get materials. Um, Gotta be careful when you when you're playing that you're playing the correct well correct mode so you don't um, end up doing anything silly. Um, I kind of want some more material. So let's head down to this rock. I don't know what that thing is. Got me fruitage, fruitage, and some seeds. So it's some sort of seed pod. Okay, a little bit more material. Not sure what this is. Oh yeah, I'm getting silicon from this. I need to reload my gun, gun in a second. There we go, let's reload this up. It will use your suit power if you do run out of um, power, but your suit power is obviously keeping you alive. Um, night time is a little bit hairy, and it does get very dark, depending on what, um, what world you're on too. Um, the other one, the other world I was playing on tended to have a fairly long daytime. This one doesn't seem to. This one seems to have a fairly short one, but let's run back to our pod. And that's probably finished, but I'm going to jump in the pod. And you can push the space bar, and you can sleep for eight hours. You are well rested. Oh, I don't think it was finished. Okay, daytime now. It's raining. But it's daytime. 
All right. So let's go to our little printer thing and pick up the materials that we've got. So let's go tab and we'll go B and we'll put our block thing here. Now before we can get this compact FAD machine, I need to craft, I think I need to actually make one of these things before it'll let me do this. To unlock this block, build a base foundation. That's cool. So let's go to, and let's just build it here. One. It's a little bit difficult, I've found, to line things up to. Can I put one more here? I'm probably going to have to mine out for that. Let's see. Three. It does snap to grid, but it um, does take a little bit of finessing. Um, so I had enough for five of these. Let's probably need to do a little bit of terraforming here. Cool. Okay. So now left click and I will weld the bits that I... And you can see top left, it's telling me how much more material I need. So this one requires two plates, so I've got four of the two and 450 worth of, of work, so to speak. So we go, there's a basic little bit of a starter. Um, we've used up all the plates and stuff that we, that we made. So let's open this up, put our iron, carbon and maybe this silicon in here. Uh, let's see. Now we'll push tab to get back into build mode. B. So we can now make this fad machine, which needs two of the frames, three circuit looking things, two backpack looking things, and two plates. <laughs> um, so I want two of them. I want to what? Two plates. Uh, three of these. And two of these, which I don't have any of this in here. You can see it requires biomass. All right, hopefully that's the parts we need. So let's take them, wait. So this takes a, a few minutes to, to start crafting things up. Um, I do want, I don't know whether to just, so I'm right clicking at the moment, it seems to dig a bigger hole. I'm hoping we uh, some water. I'm hoping to get some minerals down here. And there is a, a great little help system. So if I push F1, uh, it gives you all the different uh, key combinations and stuff. You can click survival here. It tells you to get food and you can aim with the crosshair and, and hold your E button. Um, inventory, you can eat stuff. You can sleep in the pod as I just showed you before. And then you can craft resources and then you can build stuff with your block thing. Uh, there's a power system so you can link power together. And then you've got vehicles as you can see here. We can make all sorts of weird and wonderful contraptions. Oh, so here we go. This seems to be a bit of a, a mineral vein. So we're getting some silicon and some carbon. Uh, just seems to be the. Don't remember how to get out of here. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit difficult, I've found, to to find the actual material that you're mining. Uh, maybe the right button does just take a big, big chunk out. You still get material. I'm not getting a lot of material. Not as much as as. I would have if I was mining one of those rocks, but um, kind of looks like something. Alright, let me load my gun again, or my multi tool. So let's pick up these things that we just made. Hopefully, I've got enough. So, B, 
I want to make this. So we're going to push three. Um, I'm going to put it. I've made the mistake in the first my first playthrough of putting it too close to the wall, and I couldn't build anything around it. So I'm going to build this here. All right. So this is the FAD, the compact FAD machine, and you might have seen there. Um, we've now unlocked the ability to make the bio generator. So bio generator, you can see here. So two frames, two plates, two circuits, and two of those things. So let's get that making. Um, two frames, two plates, two circuits, and I think it was two of them. Anyway. Um, but this thing does require power, you can see there. But we can we can use this to craft things. So this will make food um, and water. So I can actually purify water, the dirty water, with carbon and the dirty water. You can see here it will actually make purified water, but it needs power. So this will take a moment. And then what we may as well do is go B. I want to make this, number four. Um, again, you need to have the resources on you to be able to make it. Just put that away for a moment. Okay, are you done? It's just finishing off the last thing. Okay, so let's pour. Let's make our power generator. All right, cool. So this is a bio generator. Now I put all my bio stuff in there so let's my sensors show you are slightly thirsty okay thanks you can you can cut stuff as it's falling take that so I'm, I'm getting material all right, cool. And we can dig up the stump just to get rid of all of it. There we go. So we've got a fair bit of biomass containers then. And that's what this runs on. So if I open it up and I put these 66 biomass containers in there, it will produce 250 watts for six hours. So it's actually quite, quite impressive. And I don't know if it's six real time hours. It seems to be six real time hours. Um, so to link these up, I push uh, in build mode, you push C, and then you hover over to this one here to connect electricity, and then left click on the thing you want to do. Cool. So if I open this up now, the things are now available. So I can make dried fruitage. This will give me. Uh, plus 15 uh, food, plus 5 water, but the it can be toxic. You can see the little uh, star there on it, the orange star. It can be toxic. If you if you dry it, you won't get the water, but you won't get the toxic residue either because it's it's heat processed, and there's meats, and you can make nutrition capsules, bio paste, which is pretty terrible, but it's food of last resort, as it says. But we can now purify water, so it takes one water, one carbon. I've got five in there, let's five. It's gonna take 50 seconds to raft away. And this is now using 50 watts. So that machine itself, 50 watts of power. So it now unlocks a few other things. We've got a greenhouse, we've got walls. We can now do a corner, wall corner. And yep, so we got containers and this thing's a solar light, so you can build one of these, place lights around. Uh, a greenhouse is cool, so we could put the seeds that we have, wherever they are, these seeds, into the machine, hooks up to power, and um, can grow food for us. So I could get a bunch more material, um, build a big platform out, and you, you, know, you could expand your base out a fair way. But I think we're getting near the end of this um, first look. If um, if you're interested in the game, please check out the links below. Um, it is available on Steam. Uh, and as I said, it came out back in May. 
it is early access but I think it's looking quite nice there are occasional and it does say some of the uh, some of the bugs that do get introduced with some of the updates um, they tend to happen things may fly off into space and that sort of stuff but um, it's all part of an early access game but so far I'm, I'm really enjoying this uh, uh, I really like the look of it and I'd just like to thank the developer for giving me a, a, a key to, to look at and um, if you guys are interested in seeing a bit more of this um, it might be possible to, to do a couple couple of extra episodes maybe of just some basic stuff um, or maybe just recording some gameplay as I play um, but yeah thanks everyone for watching go and check the game out and we'll see you next time